this is Joe from 718 Cyclery, and also we do some videos for a little program called Bike Touring Tips. Today what we're going to talk about is what's in my cooking kit. I lead a lot of camping trips, a lot of overnights, a lot of multi-day stuff, but I get a lot of questions about uh, cooking and cooking gear. My kit's really simple, so I'm going to go over what's in my cooking kit. Alright guys, so here it goes. Here's what's in my cook set. Not the coffee mug. So basically, again, we, we do a lot of overnights and a lot of, you know, two and three and four day things. We're not talking about um, being out in the backcountry for, you know, weeks and weeks on end. So I find that um, this uh, cooking kit for me or iterations of this cooking kit have really helped a lot. Um, I just moved to this particular one really recently, but a lot of it is kind of variations on the same theme. So let me just kind of open it, show you what I've got. All right. All right, so this is pretty, pretty much it. Um, and what I'll do is I will show you how they work and I'll kind of pack them back down and talk about why I have these things here. So the first thing we'll talk about is fuel. I usually go with the fuel canister. Um, <clears throat> they're incredibly, <clears throat> excuse me, they're incredibly portable, reliable, uh, relatively light, but you know, you are carrying a whole can around. The other mystery with these guys is you never really know when it's done. So sometimes when you have the small ones, you're like, oh, should I take a second one? And that starts defeating the purpose of having one small light cook set. What I've been doing here, if you notice these little check cards, I've been actually, every time I do a boil, I've been marking this down because I want to know exactly how long these cans last. Probably one of the most uh, common questions that I get in the shop is how long do these guys last. Okay, in terms of stove, I've been using the Pocket Rocket 2 from MSR for a long time. This guy is a veteran. Uh, here it is. Available online at 718. Um, excellent, excellent um, device. Uh, packs down nice and small, opens up really cool, like a little transformer. So I'll show you how this works. All right, and then we're just going to come on, Joe. Early Sunday morning. There one goes. Okay. Um, in addition to that, you know, lighting this is uh, opening the gas, adding a fire source lighting. You know, so then in terms of cooking, you know, we have a cook pot here. And, and again, this is a new one for me, but a very similar in shape that I've used in the past. The nice thing about this guy here is there's a neoprene a bit of rubber so you can kind of grab it as it gets hot and cooking. Um, I used to not have a secondary cup. I used to eat right out of what I was cooking in. But, you know, that became kind of an issue when you're trying to make coffee and trying to boil water and you have to clean out this pot again over and over. So, um, the cook set that I use is also from MSR and it's the one person compact cook set. So it all kind of really fits together. And that cook set is this guy here. Um, I use everything in this cook set, but I don't use this little tong thing and I'll show you what I use. All right, so again, with all these little pieces in my cook set, let's talk about the other things that I took out of the, out of the, the kit. Um, these three things are all involved in fire, you know, making fire. I always like to have two ways to make fire and sometimes three. I always like to do the uh, waterproof matches. Uh, old reliable, I use them all the time. Uh, next thing I like to use is a lighter or I like to have a lighter. I uh, can't hurt just to have it, you know, one of those adages about camping and things, it's better be looking at it than looking for it. Um, and the third is like, sometimes I'll take a little experimental, this is a little, let me get this going, little flint guy here, so I'll take one of those. You know, on these trips when we're taking 25 to 30 people and everyone's taking two ways to start a fire, you're going to have 60 ways to start a fire, but I like to take these and I like to kind of experiment with maybe a new, a new method that I haven't used before. All right, so to pack this thing, um, all right, oh, one more thing. This guy, the neoprene, this is the little uh, secret weapon. 
And I don't know if I need this that much anymore. My, my old cooking uh, pot didn't have this kind of a rubber, rubberized kind of top, which meant it got really hot. So you would use this little neoprene guy to grab it. Um, now that this guy has a, a bit of a neoprene kind of edge around it, where you can actually grab it after it's been cooked and it doesn't get hot, this guy might be retired, but I don't know because I really like this little guy. And the last thing I use, and this is from the days of being less adventurous and kind of eating food out of those, uh, those packets, um, is a titanium long spoon. This is what Greg made me get a long time ago and I still carry it. It certainly doesn't fit in my cooking kit, but I put it in my frame bag and it's just fine. Um, you know, this is a good way, you know, if, you, if you're eating one of those big packets, to really get down and get all the, make sure you get all the sodium out of the bottom so you can really eat it all. But I've just kind of stuck with this over the years. I really, really love this spoon. I forget who makes it. Actually, it's Vargo. Uh, makes it, we saw a version of this, but um, a titanium long spoon. It just kind of sounds cool, and it's been with me for five or six years. All right, so now I'm going to pack it up super quick and then show you how it goes on my bike. One. This guy folding down is kind of fun. I always like doing this. And sometimes, you know, like it doesn't, you know, when you put the lid on, uh, this guy goes in here. You put the lid on, it doesn't always like stay, you know, it kind of always, you know, pops up a little bit, but, and that's just the nature of, even if, even if this wasn't filled to the brim, it wouldn't really stay on by itself which is why I like this little bag that it comes with, so I can just kind of bag it up from the top and suture it around so that it all kind of stays nice and connected with a little drawstring at the top. So that's it. That's my cooking kit, um, along with Mr. Spoon. And I've been using this for probably four or five years, probably about 50 camping trips, this or a variation of this. Um, and it's gotten me uh, through everything. So. Thanks for watching, and let me show you how and where I put this on my bike. All right, so this is my cooking kit once again, and this is where it goes on the old bike. It just kind of slides in there almost like a torpedo. Fits towards the back, so that's exactly where I put it. On this particular frame bag, I'll do this, I'll do my tools, and then a couple other things in the front. But that's where it sits. Um, Anyway, well, thanks for watching, and I hope this was useful in some way. All right, have a good rest of the day.